Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video tutorial guys, I will discuss and teach you on how to create a program that will add the sum of two numbers using C sharp programming language and w, uh, WPF or Microsoft Presentation Foundation. Before we continue, I would like to say thank you so much to all my viewers, silent viewers and supporters in my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. If you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. So let's begin. So what is WPF? Microsoft introduced Windows Presentation Foundation or WPF in 2007 which replaced Windows Form. Since then, the creation of desktop applications has changed considerably. WPF allows developers to create event-driven rich client applications for usage on Windows operating system. WPF can be used to develop and design both Windows application and web applications while WinForms can only be used to develop and design Windows applications. XMLL XAML or Extensible Application Markup Language is used by WPF to, to define the user interface of WPF application. XAML is a declarative language that describes the UI or user interface of a WPF application. In WPF or Windows Presentation Foundation, the user interface in the code can be created and organized separately. The UI or user interface in WPF or Windows Presentation Foundation is based on XAML which is extensible and allows you to design a specific interface without knowing whether it will be written in C Sharp or VB.NET or Visual Basic.NET. As a result, the full UI or user interface design can be but it is not required to be completed by someone unfamiliar with the programming language to be used. WPF or Windows Presentation Foundation comes with support for a wide range of video formats, records, 3D material, and a lot of built-in animation while Windows Forms does not offer much rich interactive animated hardware accelerated with Victor 2D and 3D capabilities compared to WPF or Windows Presentation Foundation. For the reference, I have here HTTPS Section IO in Engineering Dash Education WPF versus WinForms Sharp what is WPF. Okay, guys. So let uh, uh, we know already what is the advantage of WPF no or Windows Presentation Foundation. So it is very clear that the benefits of WPF in creating an application is that you can create two types of application the desktop application in Microsoft Windows and then as well as web applications using um, vb.net or visual basic.net or c sharp okay let us go with our sample program so we have here the form by the way i would like to recognize and acknowledge now my good friend tom a fellow software engineer who contribute with this sample program now about WPF and C sharp add, add to numbers so we have here text box here two text box first second and then uh, output button we have add and clear no? let us go with the add button no? so for the add button we have here declaration num1 num2 parse in text first num text text second num text result equals num1 plus 1 and then we have the text box for the output here result to string no? in C sharp for the button we have here text result that text text first num that text equals text second num that text equals double quotation to clear don't worry guys because I will put a link in the video description where you can download the complete source code of our tutorial video for today for free in my two websites let us run the code okay so it's running now so let us expand so let's say we have here value of four we have five when we click the add button it is nine when we click clear it will allows us to put a new set of values nine and let's say one we have ten clear we have 100 and 200 when we click the add button we have 300 
Okay guys, so I guess we have already discussed in tackle about on how what is WPF or Windows form presentation W WPF uh, no Pre Windows presentation found, uh, foundation or forms thank you so much guys for watching I hope that you have learned something new in this tutorial video don't forget to like share and please support my channel guys if you are new by clicking the subscribe button see you in the next video tutorial guys this is your friend Jake saying bye bye for now